Hello, this is Mr. Bacon Bits, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Uh, let's keep going. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? You're gonna look at me and you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong? Am I wrong? That moment, I finally realized. I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. Oh, really? If something happens! However... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is... unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold, it on, hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it just because you asked me to. But I'm gonna give it back at some point, you can be sure of that. Indeed. Yes, of course. Hey. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the Mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that, too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well... It's nothing. Forget I said anything. I can't just forget that easily. So then... Okay, then. Shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? I'll give up my best shot. Oh, we're doing it tonight! Okay. Goodbye. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. No, everything's gonna be fine, I know it! Because it's Kyoko. Talking to myself helped shake off some of my anxiety. And then I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here! I've got a bone to pick with you! Then a few moments later... Monokuma appears! Well, well, this is a surprise. You being the one to call me out. Hey, hey! Hey, by the way... Huh? Most suspicious. What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you? In the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm, I bet you guys... Remove to conform with local and international censors. <laughs> All over her, didn't you? Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late-night bath scenes. <laughs> because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation, far away from X-rated exploits. Oh, so is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Wow. Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out here, now what do you want? Oh, well, um, there's just something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? Whether I'm a m mademoiselle or a dude fella? Actually... But in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. I thought there was. Um, actually, <laughs> there is. What? Seriously? My entire uh, what am existence! I? <laughs> this is... That's enough! I'll get stuck if I think about it too much, so what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged me out here to ask me? Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me! You're not gonna ask us something useful, like how to get the best honey, or ursine breeding tips? Mm. This is just crazy. Are all pu pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? 
God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and... That's it. Uh, what was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in for yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that? I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open up your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. Phew. Hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Have to voice him again. <laughs> Monokuma Theater, brought to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited. What is this? I guess we're like actually getting FMV scenes with this with this Monokuma theater now. The game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. Of course, if, pe if enough people play Duncan Ron who knows? <laughs> That would actually be kind of a cool little game to play. <laughs> hmm. The super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development. But it'll start back up again if Danganronpa sells well. Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends, too! That sounds like it would be a perfect Dynasty Warriors kind of game. <laughs> Danganronpa Warriors, yeah. Good morning, everyone! Okay. Yeah. I swear, this this game keeps, like, getting more and more crazy. My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was so up, up so late last night. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Alright. That's right, I gotta do that before free time starts. What? And Kyoko's not here. You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Uh, sorry, I'm not feeling so great today. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hm. I don't recall giving you permission. Huh? I, I just thought... I mean, since a, a, a day had passed, I may, maybe reset. S huh? Sorry, please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept it. I'll hang a sign for my neck that says, Bad girl, I'll clean your bathroom with, with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you! I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise! If I do, you can stuff my mouth full of trash! As long as it's you and no one else, I don't mind! <sighs> it's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Could it be? Not cool! This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything! Um... Uh, maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not gonna show up anymore. I can't tell the others why Kyoko might not be here. The best thing to do right now is just keep quiet. Very strange. Whatever her reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Ah, are 
are you looking for, Miss Kirigiri? What? What? What do you want now? Hey! Hey! I'm right, right? You're wondering where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Right? The, do you know where she is? Ooh. Well, it's hard to say. Hmm? Huh? You don't know either. What? It's because he doesn't know. That's why he's here. To try and prod us for information. Uh-huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bullcrap? This is very I suspicious. feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects like that. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine last night. Which could mean... Hey. Maybe the Mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Yeah, could she have been right about that? Hey! Hey! So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. We have no idea. What the heck? And even if we did know, we wouldn't tell you. What the heck? For serious! Hmm. Hmm. I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers! As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Hmm. So what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um... Don't you think we should all go look for her? Hmm. And how would you suggest we approach that task? Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very suspicious. Yeah, how can she- how can he not where she is? Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? Yeah, that is kind of interesting. We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Huh. Phew! Breakfast didn't help me feel any more upbeat, that's for sure. I feel like this is more than just me staying up late last night. Yeah, because you have this lingering doubt in your mind. Um... Let's see. Where is everybody? Probably up on the fifth floor, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, so Byaki and Tilko are, are in the garden. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Um... Hina's in the dojo, and Hero's right there. Huh. Sorry, I like Hina. Okay. Even if it's hard, you have to endure. Endure, endure. Well... That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Wanjiru. Hmm. But every person's endurance has a limit. Okay, spend some yeah. time. I think we need a change of pace. And when I think change of pace... You got it! I can only think of 50 laps in the pool. Ouch. Ahem. <clears throat> All right, let's see. So I know that I gave her... I know that I gave her that before. I'm gonna see if she'll accept that one again. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. Or I mean, not like, 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 not like that kind of like. He's, he, seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Uh, hey, Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? I mean, we just ran- we just swam 50 laps across a pool. Of course you'd be tired. Well... I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do a push-up, sit-up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Well, that would explain it. Aww. Tired. So tired. I want something sweet. I want those things you get when you mix flour, sugar, butter, and eggs, then deep fry them. Duh, donuts. Well, it could be any of- it could be churros. Um, 
Oh, I know. You want some donuts, don't you? Um... Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Okay. Throw those in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You'd eat the crap out of that, right? Yeah, you really do love donuts, huh? Just a second! Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth? No, who in the whole universe can say they hate donuts? Um... Think about the sensation of biting into a donut. First the sweetness floods your mouth, then the soft dough cushions you. <sighs> oh, next you get that hint of egg and butter, right? Your whole body starts to melt. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people talk, talk about the donut effective, that's what they're talking But what? Donut effective? That's absolutely not true. <gasps> I can't take it anymore! I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here! Just a second! Get out of my way, Makoto, or I got an uppercut with your name on it! I I'm not in the way. <laughs> Wait for me, God of Donuts! Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Maximum number of skill points, alright. After I watched her run off, I went back to my room. And I feel even worse than I did this morning. My body feels like lead, and now I'm getting chills. This is bad. I think I might be getting sick. Yeah, it does kind of sound like it. And yet free time is still going. Oh, everybody's here. Uh... Do I really want to subject myself to Byakia's torture? Hmm. Scurrying around again, huh? Looking at you makes me physically ill. Sure. That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. I spent some time with Byakia. And we grew a little closer. Yes, definitely. Let's see. I see. Oh, cool. He liked it. Now this is a rare moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. Seeing Byakia so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. That must be one of those items that he really likes. As opposed to just likes. Hm. Listen, Makoto, I wanted to ask you something. What could Byakia want to talk to me about? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I'm um, sure, what's up? You know, only a chosen few, perhaps 1% of us, are able to succeed in life. So in other words... For the other 99%, their dreams never come true. Some never even have a dream in the first place. Spending every waking hour toiling to scrap together a meager living, just barely getting by. What? I just don't understand. Is there any meaning to a life like that? Why are you asking me? <laughs> because you're part of that 99%, of course. Why did you even feel the need to ask? I knew it was going to insult me somehow. <laughs> Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that, so I'm interested. So tell me, how does it feel to live a life without hope, without potential or ambition or dreams? C come on! I don't have ambition or dreams? I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be as rich as you or anything, but... Do you have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than others? <laughs> Your complaints are as old and tired as a third-rate pop song from any generation. And yet, those are the words of the 99%. That is how you find comfort in your tiny, cold little world. Stop saying stuff like that! <laughs> Sorry, I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never be in a position to change the world. You could all disappear tomorrow and nothing would change. Your existence is of no consequence. Whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. Even if you live a totally normal, unimportant life, you can still find happiness in that. If I can live a life that I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. If I spend all my time comparing my life to other people's, I'd never be happy. Sure, maybe you can do that. You were guaranteed success from the day you were born, so... What? Hold it. From the day I was born. 
You have no idea. <laughs> you don't have a clue what you're talking about. What? What? Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what that truly means. I have gone to battle and emerged victorious. That is why I am the chosen. W what are you talking about? You're spoiled, all of you, running in away into a world of self-indulgence. Battle, competition, rivalry, you run away from it all. That is why the 99% walk the path that they do. Such ignorance. Good God, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. After showing a surprising amount of emotion, Byakuya quickly made his exit. What the heck got into him? He was acting totally normal up until... until I said something about being guaranteed success from the day he was born. I wonder why that set him off. Oh, we learned a bit more about Byakuya. That's interesting. Envious influence. Got a new skill, finally. I couldn't stop thinking about Byakuya while I went back to my room. Uh-oh. <sighs> I'm getting the chills. I feel kinda... dizzy. I can't help it. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. Which is all to say... I was restless. At some point I found myself wandering through a strange dream. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. That voice... It's so familiar. Ah, it's... I... understand. I mean, that's your own voice, right? It's me. I... understand. I should... understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's... to stay here. What? Huh? What am I trying to say? Hope. This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. <laughs> My dream just now... What? So strange. Huh? Uh-oh. <gasps> oh my god. Yoko? What the... What did you... What did you say? <laughs> 